Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to my first Pi game tutorial. Um, so in this series of tutorials, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use um, Pi game. Um, and for those of you who don't know what Pi game is, it's pretty much a bunch of modules uh, for Python that are designed for you know writing video games, pretty much. And you can also write other um, multimedia programs, but a lot of the times it's used to write video games. Um, and it's it's very simple to use uh, alongside Python because you know Python is one of the simplest uh, programming languages, and Pygame makes it pretty easy to create uh, video games. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys how to uh, download and install it, uh, install Pygame. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> open up uh, just any you know internet service or any internet. Explorer thing, and um, we're going to go ahead and go to um, pygame.org, okay? And then it'll bring you to this uh, page, which is the Pygame, um, you know, main page. And so go ahead, go over on the left, and you can see um, there's this, you know, table here, and they have downloads. So go ahead and click on downloads, and you can see. Um, it shows a bunch of the downloads and um, I'm using Windows so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and the one that I am going to use the download that I'm going to download actually that I already downloaded is this one right here at the bottom um, because I'm using Python 3.2 um, it's this part at the end that you need to be you know look at so if you're using Python 3.1 either you know upgrade to Python 3.2 or just download this one it's not too big of a difference um, so it, it doesn't matter which one. If you have um, Python 3.1, it's all right. You can just download this one. Um, but I'm not going to be using Python 2, um, any of the Python 2 versions. And so if you do have a Python 2 version, you should download um, Python 3 uh, because it is different um, in certain aspects. Um, all right, so just go ahead and click on it. And I've actually already downloaded it, so I'm not going to bother. Um, but once once you do, you'll download it, and then you'll just uh, double click it after it's download. It'll run it. It'll install it, um, and that's pretty much all you have to do. So if we go and um, open up Python, uh, open up Idle, um, we can actually pretty much all you all you have to do in order to use the Pygame modules is you just have to import Pygame, all right? Um, and that's all you do, and now Pygame has been imported. Um, <clears throat> and so you can, oops, it's not going to work. Pygame, if I could spell it right, Pygame, and then data notation. And if you wait a second, you can see all of the different, you know, variables that they have, which is a lot. You can see it's a lot of variables, um, uh, as well as some of these are, are functions as well. And so you can just kind of see like all of the different stuff that is included in in this Pygame um, file that you imported. Um, so that's pretty much all that that there is for this tutorial. Um, and in these series of tutorials, I'll be showing you how to uh, how to use Pygame in order to make video games. Um, and the stuff that you learn, you won't necessarily have to use just to make video games. You can make other um, programs if you wish. Um, and also, if, let's say you don't really know much about Python, I would encourage you to um, learn Python before watching these tutorials, at least a little bit. You don't have to have too much knowledge, um, but some would definitely help because I won't be going through all of the different things in Python. So um, if you want to learn, you can go ahead and watch my Python tutorials um, for Python 3. Uh, which is what I will be using in this, uh, this series of tutorials. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.